I'm from Brighton uh, in Oldham, Manchester. I left school with average grades, very average. I weren't the most intelligent. I was more interested in my sport. From the youngest age I can remember, I wanted to be a footballer. I wanted to play for United. I started doing part-time work at a local pub. I was working my way up in the kitchen and I ended up actually being sous chef there when I was about 17. I was watching racing on the TV. I mean, I'd always liked watching racing. Um, I was just pouring myself a drink on the bar and I was watching the racing. The owner actually said, oh, Gavin, you're the right size for a jockey. Why don't you do that? And I, I just shrugged my shoulders and said, well, if I knew how to get into it, I would. And they said, well, why don't you speak to Emma? She's got a horse. So she said, well, next step is going to the British Racing School uh, down in Newmarket. She said, you go there, apply, and then you'll be put on a yard and then you get put forward for your license, get your license and you race. So obviously it was all so simple in my head that just become a jockey. Anyway, I went down to the race of school and 14 weeks I spent there and absolutely loved it. It was the, it was a really hot summer, I remember. I remember sitting on the horses and just thinking like, where's my seatbelt and all this. I don't know how they had so much patience with me because the first couple of days I could not trot. I had to hold the saddle and I just could not do it. But I wanted to learn. I slowly got there, I slowly started to learn. Um, and started getting better and better and just listening to what um, the teachers had to say. And I remember them saying that two of you will be chosen to be a head lad and head lass. Everyone had pretty much ridden at some point in their life. Apart from me, I was the only one that hadn't, but I was determined to try and stick at that and achieve that. And I, I was made head lad at the racing school. I finished at the racing school. There's a great opportunity at a yard um, at Sir Mark Prescott's. I remember going and meeting Samart for the first time. I was very, very nervous. I was. I remember going in the office, and I did didn't dare move. It, it's perfect, really, because um, he'll give you that advice, and he'll he'll cred, he'll praise you whenever you do something right. He will praise you, um, but he'll keep you very grounded and won't let it get to your head. They put me on the right horses to learn that I was capable with, and they slowly introduce you to uh, better horses and more tri tricky horses. It was actually on my birthday that Will said to me, okay, you're gonna be put in for your license, which then was the next step. And then the next step was to get my first ride, which I was very lucky. Two weeks after getting my license, I got my first ride, which was a massive shock. The amount of opportunities in racing is is massive. I thought just coming into it, I only saw jockeys. Like that's all I saw. I saw absolutely nothing else before I came into it, and now it's opened my eyes to a whole different world. There's definitely something for everyone because, like I say, even if you're not the most sportiest, even if you don't like riding them, you can look after them. You've got to be a hundred percent committed. Um, there's no point in going at it half-hearted. I definitely recommend anyone just giving it a go. You've got to give it a go once in your life. You've got to work hard and the, the, you'll get the rewards. Mm -hmm.